Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how people cheat or exploit in Roblox games. So usually what happens here is you have remote events which let clients and server communicate with each other. You might have a remote event, for example, which gives you some cash, right? Say you step on a, a, a button, okay? Um, actually, that's not a good example. Uh, a good example would be uh, buy item, okay? So if we had a remote event that buys an item, it's a game.replicatedStorage.buy item, blah, 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 okay, player, whatever. What happens is, so you have, the, you have the cost of the item, which is stored on the server, and the player will fire this remote event because they want to buy an item, and you don't check on the server to see if they have enough money. You just give it to them straight away. So this is like one of the number one ways that, that, that games can get exploited, because you don't do proper checks on the server before you give the player the item, okay? And what happens is, you know, you might have... Um, you know what happens to, to fix this is you would just literally say if player dot leader stats dot cash dot value is greater than or equal to item cost then you would give them the item okay it's as simple as that but a lot of the time developers would check this on the client okay when they press the button they check it on the client but that's no good because exploiters can just fire the remote event from their their own software right so they will basically jump over your little check in the button so you have to do the checks on the server to make sure that the player has actually got enough um, coins because the player can change their coins value or their cash value on their end or from the, using their exploit equipment you know if, if if I'm an exploiter I can change my cash to say 1.5 billion when in fact if you looked at it on the server I actually only have zero cash still so they can on their end on the clients end, they can make it look like they have enough money and so if you're not checking this on the server all right then um, you know because when they change something on their end the server rejects that change so the server is not going to accept that change which is why it says that they have 1 billion cash but to the rest of the game and to the other players they still have zero because the server doesn't let that go through um, so if you check things on the server then you're obviously not going to let the player um, get around that so that's just a very simple explanation of one of the ways in which Roblox games are uh, vulnerable uh, typically new developers will realize this they might release a game realize that it's super easy to um, to break through and uh, give things to exploiters so I think I'll do a couple more videos on this explaining ways in which uh, you can secure up your Roblox games so let me know uh, what other sort of videos you'd like to see as always subscribe and I'll see you in the next one